Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Now, I am here showing you guys my Devourer of Gods Revengeance mode fight that I did. Um, as I promised, uh, this was pretty freaking difficult. I was playing a rogue. I was using the Phantasmal Ruin. Fa Phantasmal? Yes. Phantasmal Ruin as my main weapon. Um, and then the, the Poltergeist, whatever the one it's called, uh, as my secondary. Wave Pounder sometimes, but it doesn't really do much. To be honest, kind of does a bit, but the uh, the phantasmal ruin is the main source of damage. Now I apologize if you guys can hear background sound. It, um, I just moved into the new house. It's just uh, yeah, it was a, it was a bit of a mess. So I apologize, but um, I, I probably should just turn my mic off to be honest. But um, yeah, so here's the devour of gods. The first phase of where he uh, is the not the epic Chad. Devourer of Gods, with the uh, Cosmic Guardians that spawn. I, They look glitched to me, I don't know if they are. It, it's just a head. Like, I, it seems glitched and some of them aren't just a head, and the Devourer of Gods also doesn't have a tail, it looks like. I don't know, it seems glitched, but... Um, yeah, we have the, uh, the music playing. People critiqued my last Devourer of Gods video because I didn't have my music playing. I did, but it was very quiet, no one could hear it. Um, so yeah, uh, the, the fight has changed a, a, a bit, um, you won't see me fight the Cosmic Guardians. Okay, just cutting in here, it, they are called the Sentinels of the Devourer, I don't know why I said Cosmic Guardians, that I just said they're the worm things. The mini bosses, um, when you get to halfway on Devourer of Gods, because I had already fought this boss multiple times, this is not the first, my first shot. Um, so we're at 65%, you can hear my sister crying in the background, uh, not crying, but complaining. Um, yeah, but this is revenge, so I just got my adrenaline up, um, but I didn't use it because I just got it to 50%, obviously that'd be a waste. Um, I also have my rage up, so I haven't, I, I actually don't know if I use it here. Yeah, okay, I use my adrenaline, not my rage, um, but I missed, I think, so I didn't actually use it very well. Um, it's either you use it for damage, or you use it to take less damage, if you get hit with adrenaline full. It's usually better to do damage though, because the damage is insane. Um, but obviously you have to hit, and with Rogue it's hard to hit, because you have to hit your stealth strikes to do the most damage, and sometimes you miss those. It's kind of sad. Um, but yeah, uh, this is where there's like the laser walls that I used to suck at real bad, but I got a strategy down on this one. I used the, um, the Rod of Discord and my, um, I think it's called the, what's the accessory called? The Blunder Booster or something. I think it's Blunder Booster and you, you can like boost upwards. I, I don't know. It might not be that. I think it is. Uh, yeah, that's how I dodged the, the walls. It, it actually worked really well, surprisingly. Um, with how many walls there were, I didn't know how I would do it any other way. Like, those those lasers are insane to, to dodge. Um, but the, my main thing I did not want to get hit by was the head. As people have said, and people know, whenever there's a worm boss, don't get hit by its head. Or you are going to die. That's just how it works. Um, but the Rav Gods comes out of like those portals that it spawns sometimes. I don't know. It's kind of a weird boss. Um, it behaves weirdly sometimes. But yeah, it, it's interesting. Good thing that didn't hit me because that would have killed me. He actually goes into this phase where he can't hit you if he gets into a certain amount of HP. Um, but yeah. So... We do around 2% damage to a headshot with a Stealth Strike, which is pretty good. Like, the fight's pretty slow, but that's a good amount of damage um, to something with so much HP. Uh, but I have to hit an, it in the head. Nothing else really does damage. A tail shot will do a little bit of damage. The headshots are where it's at. You need to hit the head. Um, but I have an Adrenaline up. I hit it up. He's down to 1%. I'm trying to just scrape that 1% off. I can't. And then... Bam, Cell Strike to the head. You can hear me celebrate. Took me a while. And there it is. I was very happy. 
very happy to say the least. You can see I have the flesh totem for that uh, decreased contact damage every like 20 seconds, really helpful. The Elysian Aegis, I think it's called, that is pretty damn helpful. It's a dash, can't really do the fight without a dash, can't do many fights without dashes, except like Supreme Calamitous, like in post Moon Lord, you kind of need a dash. Supreme Calamitous, you could probably get away with not having one. Apart from that, you basically need it. Yeah, there's the Blunder Buster, I think it's called, something like that, I don't know. Blunder Booster, some, or Buster, I don't know. Uh, this thing, which drops from Cygnus, it's called a Spectral Veil. Ah, uh, yes, okay. I wasn't actually using Rotter Discord, I was using Spectral Veil, which gives me a little bit of invulnerability after I uh, teleported, which was really helpful. The Seraph Traces, just good wings. The Dark God, what is that? Sheath? Dark God Sheath, I think. Yeah, the Dark God's Sheath, I don't know how the hell I remembered that name, but super, super important. Probably this, like, the Dark God Sheath and just the Silencing Sheath, or, or Ruin Medallion, which one's the one? No, yes, the Ruin Medallion. The Ruin Medallion, which turns into the Dark God's Sheath, is probably the best rogue accessory you can get and it's not even like recommended on the guides it is so good it only it makes it so cell strikes only is 50 percent so you can effectively do heaps more damage because you're using stealth strikes way more often which does tons of damage so that is an extremely extremely good accessory i cannot recommend it enough and then the vampiric talisman which um just does more damage and you get some life steal so Pretty good accessories and just the blood flare armor. It's the best armor to get at that stage. Oh yeah, I was using the Deific amulet. I don't know if you uh, noticed, but during the fight, if I got hit and I could heal, I'd right click that, heal, then right click it back. It's kind of cheesy, but I've, I always do it in the hard ones. You, you get the effects of the Philosopher's Stone where you can heal uh, 15 seconds or earlier for no cost except for going into your inventory and doing it. Like, it's a little slower. I will be coming out with Yaron soon. The fight with Yaron. Insane fight. Insane. Way harder than this. Like, you have no idea. It took me... I, I had 200 deaths at least. I had so many deaths. It was so hard for me. For me... It was hard. I don't know, maybe it was easy for you. I didn't do any guides or anything. Like, I only used the guides on the, like, wiki. No, no YouTube guides. I did it all myself, and holy crap, it was hard. It was... <sighs> but yeah. I'll see you guys in the Yaron video. Um, I'll have a lot to say about that. That's for sure. Alright. See ya.